Hey Truth Seekers, it's Nathaniel here to do another deck profile. Today I'm going to be covering my Brianna uh, Universal and Holy Spirit deck. So to start with, Brianna has the ability, says before the game begins, separate any three cards from your deck and place them face down beneath this card. Once per turn, you may select one of those cards and place it in your hand. So typically what I like to do is I like to choose a Fasting because it is one of the best power cards that we have in this deck. I will choose a Pulse Chains because it allows me to search for any two level one Animo. And I will choose a Cine like Venomouth because it has an ability that can't be stopped by Poparays. And it's able to hinder my opponent from playing the game properly. All right. Moving on to the power cards, I run three Fasting because it can produce two Universal or Holy Spirit, and I run four Holy Spirit, okay? My goal is to get out all three of my Fasting cards, and then to get out um, two of my Holy Spirit powers, all right? Okay, moving on. We, this is an equipment deck. It focuses around Fuzzworm and Alpha Lux Ultra. So we are going to use one Scarlet Cord. Scarlet Cord says the animal to whom this card is attached may either be returned to the hand or discard from your small group at any time during your setup phase. If you choose to discard it, you may search your deck for any animal with an equal or lesser virtue point and place it in your hand. This card must be discarded once this action is used. Okay, along with that, we have two Pulse Chains. Uh, Pulse Chains has, says, The animal to whom this card is attached may not be activated, but may be discarded at any time during your setup phase. Once per turn, as long as this card is attached to an animal in your small group, you may search your deck for up to two level one animal and place them in your small group. If there's no room in your small group, this card has no use. So we use these to get rid of uh, animal in our small group that we don't want. We use Pulse Chains to search for cards. We use Scarlet Cord to either search for a card or just move a card out of the way. Um, oftentimes what we'll do is we'll equip the Fuzzworm Level 2, discard it to draw four cards. Uh, Fuzzworm Level 2 doesn't say that it's limited to once per turn, so we can keep doing this as many times as we want as long as we have equipment cards. Um, we run three Mer, which says when attached to an Animo, this card reduces its cost by one uh, Holy Spirit power, and we also run three Sword of the Spirit, which says the Holy Spirit to, uh, Animo to, whose this card, to whom this card is attached gains three virtue points. So essentially we have the Holy Spirit equipments between Myrrh and Sword of the Spirit. We're mostly going to be discarding these with Fuzzworm level 2's effect to draw a card, but for an endgame thing, attaching two Myrrh to your um, Fuzzworm is very helpful. We run four story cards. First one is Paws Maws. Uh, this card goes in the active Cine spot or next to it if it's occupied by a Cine. And it says no opponent may reveal a Cine to you on their next turn. At the beginning of your next turn, remove this card as well as any other copies of Paws Maws from your hand, deck, or discard from the game. Uh, we also run Giant Killer. Giant Killer says search your deck for one Mega Cine and reveal it to an opponent. This card can only, this this can only be done if your opponent's not already facing a Cine, or if you are facing a Mega Cine, return it to the owner and have them shuffle it back into their deck. Okay. We also have our last two story cards, which are going to be Bible Study Spirit, which says search your deck for any one Holy Spirit ammo, reveal it, and place it in your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. All right, so moving on to our Cinnies. We have a Flipper, who can be a 7 defense Cinny, or if your opponent has 40 or more points, it can become a 17 defense Cinny, which is really good. Uh, then we have Hookworm. A well-placed Hookworm can hinder the game, says ability. As long as Cinny is active, all your opponent's animal require plus one um, extra universal in order to be activated. Uh, Zapper King says your opponent may not play any level 1 animal from their hand into their small group next turn. Then we have Venomouth. Venomouth says as long as this card is active, your opponent may not... Um, animo may not be activated in the same turn that they are added to or grown in their small group. Grumble, who's just a big 13 defense Cine, 
Then we got Venomouth Mega, which says your opponent may not activate any level 1 animal on their next turn. Lurikai Mega, which says select an animal from your opponent's small group and flip it over. As long as Cindy's is active, that animal may not be interacted with, with any, in any way. Fear Crow Mega Plus is an 18 defense Cindy that counts as two Cindy's once defeated, or plus one defeated Cindy, and then has an action that says your opponent may not play any cards from their hand next turn. These are all really powerful Cindy's. So try and hinder your opponent's game. Next up, we have Flow Ultra. Flow Ultra is a uh, Ultra Animo that has the ability says you may discard this card from your small group. If you do, search your deck for any three animal, reveal them, place them in your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. So essentially, you get to sacrifice this card, and then you get to grab any three animo. Um, it's really good and helpful to create consistency in this deck. Next up, our universal animo. We have three Mercifier, level one from Red Letter Day. Has the ability that says, if this card's in your small group, you may choose to swap it with any level 1 animo from your deck with a virtue point of 7 or less. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Then we have 3 prayer groups. Um, so prayer group is a... You can pay any number of power cards to activate it. Up to 6. Up to a total of 6. And you get 3 virtue points for each one. So if you have 3 fasting, you can pay all 3 fasting. And then you're going to gain 18 points for activating this one card. It's pretty good value for one card that does it. Then you have Alpha Lux Ultra. Alpha Lux Ultra has the ability that says when this card is activated, any animal also activating the same turn of it gets plus two virtue points. So that's really good. And then we are going to move on to our Holy Spirit Animo. And to start with, we have Strider. Strider is really good. Uh, Strider has the swap ability, so you can't use it in the same turn as Flow Ultra because Flow Ultra has been errated to also have the swap ability. Um, so once per turn, among all copies of Striders we have, it says if this card's in your small group and your small group is full, you can choose to swap it with a level one animal from your hand. If you do, draw two cards. And it's a three for one, which is pretty okay value because we just have binding on and binding on didn't do anything for the same value but essentially we're just going to have a uh, strider in our small group and then we're going to activate the swap swap it with the strider in our hand draw two cards next turn do the same thing and that's just helped to get us a little bit extra power next up we have some bugs so we have three manti level one who's a three for one but the reason why we have manti in here is because we're going to grow manti in the manti level two Who's a two for eight that has the action to search your deck for any power card and plays it directly in your power pool. Uh, shuffle your deck afterwards. So this is a card that can actually, since it says any power card, you can go grab fasting with it, which is really important, which is why we run Manti. And because we're guaranteed with Brianna to go grab our fasting because we place fasting underneath of it, we'll always have that Holy Spirit in order to activate them, which is also really important. Next up, we have some fish. Two Gut Piece Level 1 from Red Letter Day that grow into Gut Piece Level 2 from Red Letter Day. Um, it is a 2 for 8 and says when this card is played from your hand to grow Gut Piece Level 1, you may reshuffle your hand into your deck and draw 6 cards. Great value. And then for our final set of Animo, we have the Fuzzworm line. So Fuzzworm is a level 1, 1 for 2, not great value, but... He grows into Fuzzworm Level 2. Fuzzworm Level 2 has the ability that says you may choose to discard an equipment card that is attached to this card. If you do, draw four cards. This is an amazing ability. Essentially, we have nine equipment cards in this deck, and we can keep discarding equipment cards as long as we keep drawing into equipment cards to keep drawing cards. Of course, Fuzzworm has one of the great values in the game of being a 2 for 12 as a Fuzzworm Level 3. On top of that, it has the action that says search your deck for an equipment card and attach it to an animal in your small group. So, you can activate this guy and go grab, say, your Sword of the Spirit and attach it to uh, another one of your Holy Spirit animo, and you can increase, it, increase its value by three. Okay? Um, so, one of the goals of this deck is to actually... 
get myrrh onto two fuzz worms. Okay. And then you're going to activate both Alpha Lux Ultras. So each one of these are going to give the animos, other Animo activated in the same turn as them, plus two. So both of these are going to be worth 12. And then you're going to activate this Fuzz Worm, who's going to be plus 16, and this Fuzz Worm, who's going to be plus 16. Okay. So you have 24, uh, 32, and then... 32 plus 24 is going to equal 56 points. So that's 56 points in a single turn. Um, this is probably a once per game play, but um, you can actually just play this rather than using this combo. Just use it as a tempo deck where you're just trying to consistently gain points every turn. And sometimes that means that you're going to be activating your prayer group to get consistent big turns. Um, so... Tempo, just consistently get points, or you can go for the big play and get uh, 56 points in a single turn. All right. So anyways, that has been this love and whole, this, sorry, that has been this universal and Holy Spirit deck. So in the meantime, true seekers, keep learning virtues and defeating sinnies.